Hello everybody, welcome to the Daily Hezuk. Sorry for the hiatus of the last couple days, but we're back on track. You know, the Gemara talks about people who in the past have taken from others and others who have not. Some people don't like to take from other people. And the Gemara says that we can learn about someone who can take from others, namely Elisha. When Elisha was coming to the house of the Shunamit woman, and he was her guest. She gave him the best room she had. She gave him a table, a couch, a lamp, and a bed. And he was there, and she was very proud to have him in the house, and he helped her very, very, very much. At the same time, the Gemara says as a person who never took anything from anyone, Shemuel. When Shemuel was going on a tour of the country to give over messages to the Jewish people, it says that wherever he went, he brought with him a tent. He brought with him a place to stay. He never ever stayed by anybody's house. No matter what town he went to, he had a place. He had his own, his own place to stay. And the Gemara says that each one is acceptable. In other words, you have a source to act either way. Either to accept the gifts from someone else when you're staying by their house. Or to not, it's not considered like, you know, being haughty to say, oh, no, I'm just going to stay in my own place. Very nice. But one of the guys this morning asked a very good question. He said, I don't understand something. Doesn't it say in Mishle, Sonne Matanot Yehye, that if a person hates gifts, he's going to live? It seems more understandable that you should not accept any gifts from anybody. Don't say about it. It's better just to have your own place, like Shemuel, not like Elisha. This is the question of the Maharsha. And the Maharsha explains a beautiful answer. He says, that really all Elisha took was only the basic necessities. And when you're on the road, when you're traveling, even if you're a rich person, you're considered poor because you don't have that base, that place to be. But there's another answer I want to share with you today. This is from a sefer called the Netivot Olam. I believe it's the Netziv. And he says something so beautiful. What the Gemara is teaching us is that sometimes when we take, we're giving. When Elisha went to this lady's house, the Shunamit woman, and stayed by her house, he wasn't taking. You know how happy she was? You know what kind of blessing it brought to her home? He was giving. And sometimes we don't want to take from people because we don't want to give them that satisfaction that, we, that they gave to us. And the hezuk that I'm giving everybody today is that when you're a giver, sometimes you give by taking. If there's somebody who wants to give to you, who wants to give something to you, and you know you don't want to take from that, I don't want to take from that, take it. Sometimes take it. When you're always thinking in a mind frame of how I could do for others, then even when you do something that might seem from the outside like you're taking, you're really giving at the end of the day. Have a wonderful day.